excuse me, inventory management, obviously super important, less important than it is on the, uh, um, less important than it is, come on, oh shit, it's not giving me the option because of the uh, other one, yeah, so less important on the PlayStation or Xbox than it is on the PC, um, that's only because if it fits, it'll go in your inventory. That's the only real difference to PS4 versus the uh, <clears throat> PS4 versus the PlayStation or uh, versus the PC. Because in the PC, so you see how this item takes up four slots. So that would be a square. It would look exactly what it looks like now, but it'd be four little quadrants in it. This takes up six. It would be an elongate. It'd be a rectangle. So it'd be the square, and it'd be plus two on the right. Normal. But in the PC, you can also angle, or you can, you can tilt your objects so that you can either be vertical two extra squares or horizontal two extra squares. So, like this. Look at this fucking backpack. There is no fucking way in hell I could fit these three weapons in this backpack with 80 slots. Because 27, it would be 9 by 3. Okay? 9 by 3, 10 by 3, 4 by 3. 4 by 3 would fit. 9 by 3? No. That's not going to fit. Maybe it'll fit vertically. No way would you be able to fit both of these. Absolutely not. Especially both of these with this. It's just, it's not going to work out. Um, the guns are not meant to go into your backpack, but I'm going to take advantage of that as much as I can with this wonky inventory system. So that I can carry as many long arms as I possibly can. Um, I'm also here trying to gear up my brother who hasn't yet started into the... Uh, whole experience. That's why I'm carrying around an extra jacket in my hands. Um, I know it's been a few days since I did one of these little walkthrough kind of trips, but not just because I haven't had the time to play. I'm going to try to keep them to around 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, the first video, if you watched it, Absolutely no editing. On purpose, rather. Okay. Bottle of water. Good. Um, I didn't realize that I had fucking ten and a half minutes of downtime between I, when I started and I spoke. Because I forgot that the PlayStation records a set amount of time. And I have mine set to, I believe, an hour. So when I started the recording, it was quite a long time. Like I was getting ready, I was like grabbing food and getting a drink and stuff like that. lock the doors behind you if you're afraid. Afraid someone's got some nefarious purposes. Right, I set that in my house bar. rags. I didn't take the headlight because like I said in the first video cars are end game. Don't bother with them. There we 
go. Swap. Oops, I didn't mean not mean to split. Combine fence under the inventory. Yeah, that was a zombie. Um, this game, obviously, I think I've already said it, but I'm going to reiterate. Always, always carry a lockpick. Without a lockpick in your inventory, you are at the mercy of any door that's not locked. Um, also, if there's a locked door, like a player's hiding in it, you're screwed. You can't get in that door no matter what. So, always, 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 if you can find a lockpick, make it a priority to pick it up. Um, police stations, firehouses, I believe. We, I think I found this one in a garage. So, there's plenty of places to find the lockpicks. Just make sure you always pick them up. It's kind of really important. So, here's another thing. You can log out with an object in your hands that's got shit in it, like this. This has got three full magazines for a handgun I don't possess, but I'm near Balata Airfield, so I could probably go in there and I could probably find an FNX 45. Um, yeah, or FX 45, rather. Yeah, so always carry it the radios i don't believe work right now i put a battery in it and it just kept giving me the option to keep turning it on i don't know why but it didn't ever actually act like it was actually on um so this would be my brother's starting here i just got a pistol with a flashlight on it for him to uh i don't know why but you can't really turn the flashlight on while it's on the gun. You have to take it off, put have the battery in it, turn it on, then put it on the gun. It's a really ass backwards process. They really need to incorporate it. I got him some boots because you get kind of shitty starting footwear. Um, always change out the track shoes. Always. They're not as rugged. And actually, I believe... These boots might be able to hold a knife. They might have a knife spot in them. I'm wearing wellies because, you know, being dry in the game is very important. So, empty water bottle. I'm going to fill that up once I find it. This has 9mm ammunition in it, which is for this gun. So, I'm just keeping it in there because, like I said, I'm next to Balata and you can find the SG5Ks there. Um, yeah. The improvised bow and arrow spot is going to be incorporated at a later date. It's not available yet on PC, which is two updates ahead of us. So when it's available on that, we can know and be able to estimate when it will be available on console. I'm hoping they incorporate it within the next patch. That's the whole thing is when you're waiting on for the PC to catch up, which it's funny because once they hit 1.0, they removed a bunch of stuff. So you can no longer make the bow and arrow with the improvised arrows and things like that, which was a great survivalist weapon if you wanted to start out. You know, all you needed to do was craft a stone knife and you were set to survive back before 1.0. Now, you get started with a stone knife, an apple, and a soda, okay? So, you no longer have to grab a knife, or a you no longer have to search the beach for stones. Then use the beach to make the knife. It just turns out that they give you that to start off with. I don't, I'm not opposed to that, but I wish they gave you just a small stone to start with. Then you then had to craft it into a knife, so it kind of break you into the crafting system. Um... Also, you used to be able to, you know, kind of design your character a little bit when you started out. You could change his skin tone, his gender, her gender. Um, you could pick if they wanted to start with certain clothes. So, me, I always started with a t-shirt 
and canvas pants because you could cut them both up into rags but you know you didn't used to be able to cut up like jeans or anything like that but now you start off with regular pants and a sweatshirt which you're not going to cut a friggin sweatshirt into rags because then you're just going to lose all your storage space before when you had a t-shirt you had no storage space you only had your pants which had six slots and you started off with a flare and that's it a fucking flare so you got to think of how much the game has changed and evolved in the time just a zombie walking um very important like i said always have some kind of implement to tie someone up with duct tape is used to fix things it's good for fixing up anything that actually you know i don't even know what it can fix in this game totally because it i use duct tape on these pants so i can't tell you it's probably going to be able to fix a lot of stuff um until they really really hammer in the crafting system which is probably not going to be for quite a few patches you'll be able to fix most everything with duct tape um rangefinder i cannot tell you if it works i put a battery in it it was also at night i tried it out it does not seem to give you a measurement so in the actual game you would have to click it to get your reading it wouldn't be a uh it wouldn't be a constant range you would actually have to click it to get your range with this i am not sure because you can't zoom it in you can't click it you can't do anything with it uh let's see another thing that i'd like to put on is even though i've kind of done it this one don't put all your ammo in one part of your body because you may get shot to shit in your vest and it'll destroy all of your ammo so what you want to do is you want to spread out the wealth so have one stack of kind of like each type of bullets in different spots on your body so some of it in your pants some of it in your jacket some of it in your vest you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket because that's going to lead to the possibility that you are going to get all your ammunition ruined in a fight and end up with only the stuff in your gun that is not a way to win a fight that's a way to get killed uh storing your ammunition inside of a magazine will save it but i have mine out because i've got the sks i'm not gonna um you can also reload ammunition from any part of your body i'm not sure from containers i have not tested it but any part of your body you could reload ammunition from so it wouldn't matter if you had bullets in your boots which you can't anyway but you'd be able to reload from there with the triangle quick reload fastest way to reload some guns is to put the ammunition on the floor and then you know look down at it and then you can hold for reload and then it's easy just to snatch it back into your ammo so let's say you're out there sniping fools you just want to be that guy if you're out there trying to snipe people and you want to be a murderer no big deal you can that's what the game's about free free choice um if you're out there sniping people you're gonna want to put probably at least a stack of ammo in front of you where you're laying down easiest way for you to reload your gun especially if you're burning through it if you're if you're the type that you know accuracy by volume instead of waiting for an actual good shot that's fine but just be prepared to burn through a lot of ammo I don't know if I checked this room yet easiest way to search obviously is check the vicinity 
Though if it's up top and you're in a first person server like this where you guys can't really see it, then what's gonna happen is you're gonna miss stuff that's on top of high shelves. I'm just trying to listen real quick. I do like how they made it. They kind of fixed the jump. Uh, on the PC, it would take you out of crouch. What the fuck? Okay, there you go. Yeah, with this version, you kind of jump and then land back and crouch. Hammers will go over later. That's base building shit. You don't need to know at the moment. <clears throat> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna build a base and record it. Oh, see, this is the problem. When you find another axe and you've got nowhere to put it. 14 slots, so I could ditch his boots. Probably what I'll do. And I'll give him an axe. Probably the smartest thing. And like I said, look, see, you've got a knife spot on these boots. So it frees up an extra three slots on you. I mean, you could put any knife in there. I wish I could free up enough space to carry those boots for him. But creative manipulation aside, I don't know if I can. Let's see. I've got 10 free. I need 16. I could make three go into that boot, but then I'd have to wear them and I'd have to put my wellies in my inventory. So that's 13. I could throw something two worth of two in the jacket. 15. And then I'd have to just incorporate that. Yeah, I can actually do it. You know what? I'll do it. Boom. 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 Back to the inventory. I'm going to throw his knife in the boots. Oh wait, nope, sorry. That won't work. I'll leave his knife in there. So he's got two spots. I'll throw the water purification tablets in there. <clears throat> I'm going to take my wellies into my hand. I'm going to put these fuckers on and put my knife in my boots. Where's, oh wait, my boots, but there it is. So now my knife's in my boots. And now I'm going to... 30. Okay, so I need to move something with a 5 into that. So, bandages, compass. My pants are full. Let's see. Nine spots available. Okay. One, boom, 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 
six slots available there. Ten slots there. Okay, I gotta get creative again. Back to what I was doing. Freeing up spot. So I'm gonna fill up my backpack with random shit. I'm gonna fill up then this spot with random shit. Three. Boom. Boom. Sixteen spots. Boom. Bada bam. Look at that. That is some fucked up fuckery. Sun's up. 